Okay, audio chat, if you can hear me, type one, type one. Am I the drama? Yes, you are, Emmy. <laughs> Wait, can you guys hear me? Type one, I said type one. I said type one. Okay, cool. Thank you, Mac. The only good chatter, I guess. I'm kidding. Hi, Potato. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Mac. We're trying something different. Like, during starting soon and then ending, I'm gonna keep Mike on. I don't know. We can try it. I'm always really glad to hear. What the fuck is that emote, Emmy? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Okay, we gotta stall for three more minutes, guys. Gotta wait for people to come in. I love it. It I, it looked like something else when I first saw it and I got concerned. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my god, your mom was a gamer? Dude, that's so rare. The only games my mom played was like the shitty Facebook... What would you call them? Like, life sim games? And then she would play Wii Fit with us. <clears throat> There's so many like older games that I wish I had the chance to play, but I never got to. Sadgy. Hi, Nyx! Heathel, hey, first time chatters! Can we get a peace out to yo for Nyx? <laughs> I can't spill much tea! Hi, <laughs> Dio Mio. Well, you try and rest up today, okay? Oh my god, you guys would actually read the video game guidebooks? That's kind of crazy. I feel like those were the first books to sell out at the book fair, you know? Dude, I'm ass at Tetris. I don't- I don't get how people can be good at it. 30 seconds! Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. We got a slightly different angle. It's slightly more overhead, so I, got, I had to put socks on. <laughs> um, it, it's basically the same. One thing I did notice about this camera is that the resolution is ass. It's ass. Because like it says it's like a, a 1080p camera, but since it's a USB, the res isn't as high as it would, like, if I got a capture card, it would be full HD, so... Um, Chatter's donation goal is $500, that way you can buy a new DSLR. I just saw, literally, Sony announced yesterday that they're selling, like, a vlogger marketed, basically, like, a DSLR grade camera for 500 bucks, and it's gonna launch... Or it's gonna be available for sale in November, I think. It has basically all the same specs of a DSLR, except you can't shoot raw footage. So, I'm gonna save for that. So, Oilers. 
I'm gonna get a better cam one day. Didn't want to say it, Lamau. <laughs> Lamau. Love the pit, thank you. I mean, the shorts, they're just like normal shorts. They don't match at all. This It's a bit too extra. Because I got pattern on pattern, so it looks kind of funny. You know, to get Megan for Christmas? Yeah, a new camera. Gonna write a letter to Santa say, hey, Santa. I want a new camera. I mean, like, I have to look more at the specs of it, but if it's the same quality, if not as good as a DSLR, 500 bucks is like crazy. That's an insane price for a DSLR grade camera. So, I can actually look up what it is. Okay, let me show you guys what it is. It's this. I, I can probably show you guys on this camera. I'm on Do Not Disturb, so I'm not gonna leak. It's the Sony's ZV-1 F vlogging camera. It has a built-in mic as a flip-out like front view camera or front view viewfinder and all the specs look pretty good it looks pretty good up to 4k 30p video recording it, it, it only shoots with JPEGs though you can't like I said you can't do raw but it looks pretty good for 500 bucks not gonna lie so I'm gonna save for that yeah Megan phone view okay chatters and lurkers Today, today, <laughs> we're gonna be make, we're gonna be making this card into a full painting. I don't know how I'm gonna elevate this one because what I wanted to try and do is basically this is one fourth to one third where there's straight lines, and then down here, see how it's kind of like triangular shaped? Maybe I can do like triangles inside. I don't know. I gotta think about it, or maybe I can just do this whole thing. Because I think this design is cool. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think we can go ahead and get started. What do you guys think? Okay, so as always, we got our timer going. Whoa. I need to figure out. I really want to get that overhead camera set up, but I need like a rig. Okay, so first we're going to do varnish with mica powder, so since we're working with fine powders, please make sure if you're going to do this at home, you're wearing a barrier like a mask. You don't necessarily need a respirator, but just a simple facial covering will work. You know, we got to be safe when we're doing arts and crafts. Imposter streaming? <laughs> Maybe. Hi, Batty. Welcome in, hun. Okay, so as always, we're going to start off with a varnish base because I think I want to do um, the white with the color curve effect. Um, one thing I did notice, if, for example, I wanted to do the glitter varnish on the color acrylic, so like if I did, I wanted to do the varnish on top of the black, I have to let the paint dry for a solid 24 hours because um, since the varnish, it's like really thin, when you like go over it with a brush, it does pick up the paint if it's not fully dry. So if we ever do a painting to where I want to do like the glitter on top of a color, we'd have to let it dry and finish it another day. But I think for this one, I think I like how the mica powder looks on top of white, so I'm totally fine with doing that. You're hyper sure today, thank you. Okay. My goal is to get this painting done in six hours. I think it's doable. Because the concept for this one is slightly simpler. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I need my dropper. I swear I'm prepared for today. Oh, shit. Oh, this dropper's busted. The varnish dried inside of it. Oh, this dropper's done. It's done. See that the the fucking shit dried in it. 
fuck it. God damn it. <laughs> that 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 dropper's literally busted. It's busted. That was my fault. I didn't store it properly. Okay, well. Don't laugh at me. They're so mean. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have to pour the varnish in the tray. Is it early for you? Not really. It's only 9.45. Wait, I didn't start the timer! Why did nobody tell me? There we go. Timer's gone. We'll add three minutes in our heads, right? Okay. So, the varnish... I don't want to break my nails when I'm opening it. So it has like a nozzle, but it, it, it's so thin it's going to come up too fast. Jokes. There we go. So I don't think I want to do the same color combo I've been doing because I'm getting kind of old of it or sick of it. So let's not be fuchsia. Let's see, I have green to violet, purple to pink, lime to blue, and blue to purple. Let's see. I think lime to blue and then purple to pink will be pretty. That way it's a bit warmer. See, are these open? I don't think I've opened. Yeah, I haven't opened this one yet. Anyway, how you guys doing today? I'm feeling a bit better because um, if you follow the main channel, you know I wasn't feeling too good yesterday. I think it was a combination of me exercising without shoes on because I was basically running in place on the hard wood floors in my bedroom. And then I made dinner on, um, what you call it, what you call it, fuck. What's the day before yesterday? On Wednesday night, and my let's just say I had bowel issues, and my mom had the same issue, so I think I just fucked up cooking it. <laughs> um, we're gonna do varnish because I think I want to keep this piece black and white. Maybe we can add some gold accents, but I'm thinking about it. So we're gonna do similar to the previous paintings. We're gonna do just a varnish layer for base. I'm glad your voice is feeling a bit be better, Mac. I was getting worried. They have workout socks? Huh? That's a thing. Also, I just realized I have my bedroom light on and it's creating like this harsh shadow. I'm gonna have to fix that. I wonder how much powder goes into like normal slime. I assume like one of these whole jars is for like two slimes at max. Okay, I have to turn my light off, and when I turn my light up, I have to turn cam off, because I'm basically trapped in this corner of my room. <laughs> so, uh, is this it? Yeah. I'll be right back. I gotta... I gotta turn my light off. Cause, like, the desks, they block... So if there's a fire, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Like, <laughs> there's no good way to... I have to, like, comport myself. To climb over my desk. Holy. Yo, I'm back. Yeah, in order to like get out of this corner of my room, I have to, because I have like this main desk here, and then I have a mini one for my computer, I have to climb over this in order to get out. <laughs> get back to work.
Oh, a little update about the property. Um, they're still doing refurbishments. Like, they're finishing up painting and then they're filling some holes in the wall. From, like, nails and shit, not from people punching holes in the wall. Um, so it's not going to be ready to be moved in until December. So, I still got a bit more time to think about. So hopefully it works out in time. Not rather in time, but it just works out in general. <laughs> Okay, we got our varnish main. Wait, I gotta post an IG! Fuck! Nobody's reminding me. Uh, Chad, there's a few. Everybody should go follow the IG. You get to see high quality pictures of uploads once they're done. Today's the 14th. Welcome in. Um, the only update about that is that it's not going to be ready till December, so we still got a good bit of time to think about it. Well, welcome in, hun. Okay, they're uploading. Okay, now for the moment of truth, I'm going to put the first layer of varnish on. combo goes crazy. It's very pink when compared to the other color combos we did. Okay, since I've used this brush for other varnishes, it's a bit hard. The, the bristles are really firm. I'm being punched? Of course you are. It's my chat room. That's the normal. It do be like that. Dude, I cannot wait until we get emails on this channel. Um, Any potential Oilers? The way to unlock more emote slots is when you I get more subs. Because the way that, to unlock more slots, I think in order to get all of my current emote slots, because I think I have like, eight or nine normal, and then three animated, or three or four animated. In order to unlock all those slots, you have to hit a total of 50 subs, I think. So, potential Oilers, that's how emotes work. I think if you look at the Twitch help articles, it explains it a bit more. But I think it's kind of silly. <clears throat> that that's how you unlock more slots. I think it'd be interesting if it they unlock to be like viewer count or something. I don't know. Can we punch the brushes here? I'm thinking about which emotes I want to add. I think, um, because we need to think of animated and still emotes. I think a good still one will be me, like looking upset. And then you guys could use that whenever I, like, I make a mistake or fuck up something. Kind of like the not like this. But with me. 
And then... We should do, like, Meg painting. And I do, like, a pose where I'm, like, quickly going like this on a canvas. I think that'd be funny. Because I, I, I think I thought about it. I initially was going to do, like, illustrated emotes for this channel. But I was like, nah, I think stream screenshot is the way to go. I just think it's funnier. We need one to fight with? No. No. That'd be silly. I'll do something related for this channel. Okay, got some on my hand. Rip. a little speck of dust that keeps coming up okay i got it it's like a little fabric fiber that keep getting stuck in the that kept getting stuck in the brush okay i have a bit left over varnish so i think i'm gonna do like another coat like just another really thin coat across is that Okay, varnish is down. Let's rinse our brush. Clean our palette. I know in full cam it looks the same, but this mixture is a bit more pink. Because I think this one I did the fuchsia, purple to pink, and then lime to blue. So it's definitely a bit more cooler when compared to the other Mikey Color combos. Okay, we're gonna let this set for like five minutes. Is it weird to see emotes of yourself? Not really. I think it's funny. I think it's it's fine because like it's not like it's close-ups of my face like I know I definitely don't like seeing um like really close-up pictures of myself but I think it's funny because like the emotes are small enough to where you can't see like super fine detail And I don't think any chatter doesn't like them. Like, I've gotten compliments from other streamers saying that my emotes are pretty solid. Because I feel like illustrated emotes are a bit disassociative. Like, especially when you get them commissioned. 
by Emote Artist because you know they got presets. Like, the style is way too similar. It's not like it looks too different from other emotes. Like, all they really do is, like, change the skin tone, the hair, and then color the hair. Otherwise, the expressions are the same. That's why I tend to think illustrated ones are kind of generic. And what better branding is your face? Okay. So... Once it's dry, we're going to have to pencil on some lines. I was going to do, because, um, see how this part is straight lines? I was going to do, like, tape, but I'm never successful when I do tape. But I did see one trick online to where, because the issue when you do tape is sometimes, like, the paint seeps under. But a good way to avoid that is you do a layer of white, and then you put the tape on. That way the tape adheres to the white paint. So. Should I do gold? I'm, I'm still thinking. I don't know if I want to do gold on this one. Because I feel like white, black, and gold will look pretty solid. Ooh, maybe instead of doing like shapes inside, inside, I can do like gold, like lines on the border. Ooh, because I have some nice gold, like metallic acrylic that I have to climb over my desk to grab. I think I'll do that. I think I'll keep this original design, but um, I'll do like gold accents. Okay, we're still letting it dry. I can open my brushes while I'm waiting. You know these plastic packages? I hate when they put the plastic all the way to the edge. It's so hard to open. Why? Because it's so hard to open. Like, it's hard to get your, your nails under it. I just threw all the smaller brushes. I think I'll need this one. Yeah. Eating meatballs with ranch? Oh, actually? If you guys ever get a meatball sub from Subway, I usually get ranch and then chipotle added to the marinara. I think it's pretty solid. Okay, got my brushes ready. Should be just about set. Uh, one more minute, one more minute. Oh, I can take my mask off now, since we're no longer working with powders. My is called. You always get the meatball sub with Subway? Nice. I usually don't get the meatball sub anymore. Um, cause like, you know they'd be keeping those meatballs in the hot well all day, when they're only supposed to be in there for four hours. Um, but I remember when I was little, my go-to would be the meatball sub. Bit more. I feel like there's a subway on every corner, and you know why? It's because the, they're one of the cheaper franchises to open in the States. You also need the le least amount of equipment. The only big equipment that- oh shit, I got- I got varnish all over my desk. Uh, oopsie. Because the only like big equipment you need to buy is the refrigerators and the oven. And you don't need fryers. Oh damn. Good thing I don't give a shit about this desk. Because this desk, it's not even real wood. 
It's just sawdust compressed with like a fake wood skin on it. Like I can scratch this skin off. Or not skin, the paint. Yeah, I feel like there's so many like subways and colleges. I think it's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, subway is fucking easy. It's easy. The most stressful thing is the staffing. Is because a lot of times you see subway workers working by themselves. The reason why is because there's so many subways in any given town to where it's kind of like when you go to a Chick-fil-A, it's always popping. There's always like 20 cars at least in the drive-thru. That's because there's only one Chick-fil-A in town. But since there's like four or five subways in any given town, that's why they're all kind of slow. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So, let's set this aside. I think because for this piece, this line right here was about a third. And a third is about here. Because this is a 16 by 12. I gotta grab my ruler. That way we can do measurements. Okay. Oh, I'm a picky customer when it comes to Subway. It's because I know how to do the job, so I'm very picky with my sandwich. I mean, I'm not crazy. I'm just like, can you put everything on? Or wait, can you do sauce first, put everything on, and then toast everything? It's not that crazy, but I can see how <laughs> I'm annoying in that way. Or maybe we should do one-fourth. Let's see what four inches looks like. Now, like... I would know what four inches looks like. Haha. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm an incel. I'm an incel. Here's inches. Yeah, exactly 16. So four inches would be here. That doesn't seem like nearly enough. But 16 divided by 3. 5.3. So about here. Yeah, I think one third is going to look better. Five and a half, five and a quarter. Let's do five and a quarter because it's gonna be hard to get a five and a third. Oh, five and a quarter. I was off. Okay, so now... <clears throat> I'm gonna draw vertical lines of varying widths. Because as you can see, they're not all uniform. Also, is the music at a good level? Because I bumped it up a little bit because I realized when I talk with headsets on, I talk louder. So, is it good? Hopefully. It's good? Okay.
What's nice about this ruler is I'm trying my best to line up the edges of the painting at the zero and then 16 inch line, but see how there's circles throughout the center? So I can see where all the lines from the previous stroke line up. That's why I like, I like these metal rulers, but I think it'd be nice if they were clear. 16 ounce soda cans make you uncomfy. <laughs> I like them because I feel like I get more bang for my buck. And also back when I was making the earrings, I like the big soda cans because obviously it's more like surface area. drink soda as much anymore like my mom told me yesterday since I wasn't feeling good to try sparkling water and it was too much I mean oh shit there's a smut ah I'm smudging graphite oh no oh no oh no okay now we know an eraser works on top of varnish let's there's probably graphite on the back of this so I'm gonna clean it off real quick that was one of the things I hated about rulers, is that if you're using them with ink, sometimes the ink from your pen sticks to the edge of the ruler. So you have to like wipe it as you go. Yeah, you can see there's graphite on here. Make sure clean your rulers, guys. Okay, that hopefully we won't get more smudges. That's why I don't use rulers too often. I'd very much rather- I like doing freehand lines because I think it's impressive when <laughs> you can do proficient line art without a ruler. Everyone's like so impressed. I mean for a piece like this, I think it'd be smarter to use a ruler since it's like bigger and also like I'm possibly gonna sell it so I should make it look good and accurate. Oh, you guys know what I did? I bought McDonald's yesterday. I spent $40 on McDonald's delivery and I hated myself after. But then I was like, you know, I'm not feeling good. Cokes was like, you know, get some comfort food. And I was like, okay. So I got McDonald's. I got Maccas. Treat yourself, I know. Cause I was looking at like all the other places to order from and they're like way too fun fucking expensive. Cause I was like, sorry I'm concentrating. I was like, you know, if I'm gonna, get delivery from a place that is like supposed to be a sit-down restaurant I'd rather just eat there in person because you know when you get delivery it's never as good as if it was like freshly made no matter what they say it's never as good okay so we have our base pencil lines down so are they crooked Okay, they look crooked. From this angle, they look crooked. I was, I was gonna get really mad.
Ja. Okay, I think we can go ahead and start painting now. I was watching through the VOD from last week's painting, this one. Shoutouts to the <laughs> to viewers. Be oh, wait. I gotta go full cam. Because this stroke right here, this dark blue one, took literally a fucking hour. I never realized it took me an hour. The reason why it took an hour is because I had to do three coats, because the dark blue was the least opaque paint I had. It took me a fucking hour, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I will try and work quicker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think we need the ruler for now. Chatters in shambles. Okay, so I alternated my lines so I'd have black on the outside and then the or on both outside edges. Yeah, I did get comfort food. McDonald's is my comfort food, which is bad because it's very not good for you, but yeah. Okay, let's get start. Let's get started painting. So I think I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush just to get the line art as precise as I can, and then I'll go in with a big brush to fill in. It slaps, yeah. I was gonna try the chicken sandwich, but like the chicken sandwiches aren't good when they're not hot. Can't need to think about how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna work this way because when you're doing straight lines to demonstrate it's a lot easier on your arms when you move your elbow or your shoulder versus moving your wrist going like this so you get a lot cleaner stroke if you move your whole arm okay I need to rearrange a little bit Hey, lurkers, hey, chatters. If you're new here, you should drop a follow. Because that way you can hang out and chat. Your name shows up on screen. Wowie. Follow the stream if you're new. <sighs> oh, this black is really opaque. That's really good to see. Am I crazy if we're not using tape? Probably. But am I gonna use tape? Nope. crispy chicken. I think that's the only good chicken from McDonald's. I also got like a 10 piece chicken nugget and McDonald's chicken nuggets are only good when they're like hot hot. Otherwise they get like play doughy. For some reason my mom loves the cold chicken nuggets but I don't get it. They just taste gross. baseline down. Let's go ahead and fill in. Oh, it's sticky from the tape. Okay, I'm not filling in right to the 5.2 fine edge because when the lines go down the strokes are going to be different directions okay since the black isn't as opaque when you do thin coverage we're gonna have to do two coats
The reason why I don't like going in with big brushes or big pens initially is that way I can get like a clean line. It's kind of like when you're coloring in a color pencil, you usually fill in the border. That way, if you do like slip up, you have a little bit of, what, how would you say, like leeway to where you're less likely to color outside the lines. Leverage? No. Buffer. Buffer. I think that's the best word. Okay, time for the next part. Chatters, do you think I can get this done in six hours? Anybody? I think it's hard to do like geometric type work on canvases because the texture of the actual canvas isn't fully smooth. So it's very difficult to get super straight lines. Because the paint is supposed to like pool in the grooves. <laughs> Two, shut up. I'm good. My goal is six hours. You don't like the crispy chicken sandwich from McDonald's? But they're, they're so much better than the regular McChickens. The regular McChicken tastes like school cafeteria food. Like, the breading is so much better. Whatever. I feel like when the initial product came out, the marketing went insane. I think that was a bit too extra. It's another section done. I'd say seven, eight hours, but that's all the other paintings took. I don't know, I'm speed running today. I'm gonna try at least. I mean, the only kind of difficult part about this piece is that I have to be very precise with every stroke I do. I know this would take a lot less time if I just use fucking tape. But one, I don't trust tape and I like the I like the motion of using a brush. Ever since we started doing this art streams, it made me remember how much I like holding a brush, I guess. Any new chatters, this is what we're working on today. Um, if you're new, type one. <laughs> yeah, I'm anti-tape.
Did you match outfits with the painting on purpose? Maybe. <laughs> your foot is the same length as your forearm? I feel like you're trying to pay me to show you my feet. I'm not going to do it. Because <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a size 8. No. My foot is smaller than my forearm. No shot. I don't know. I'll check later. I have to buy shoes. Chatters remind me that I have to buy shoes tomorrow. I do it off camera. <laughs> Trust. Oh God, oh God. I'll, I'll check tomorrow. I have to buy shoes because I need to get inside shoes for exercise. Mods, potatoes sounded kind of sus. Keep an eye on them. People in the chat try, it's true. <laughs> Man, Potato's trying to see everybody's forearms, I guess. Okay, chatters, I need your advice. I need your guys' advice. This is really serious shit, okay? How do I grow this channel? I don't know how. Like, I know the best way to, for any Twitch channel to grow is to cross-post. Like, i.e. post offline content to, like, IG, TikTok, YouTube, etc. But, I don't know what to repost. And I feel like art, for this type of stream, like, you gotta be there. Like, that's the best way to enjoy it, IMO. I don't know. Because, like I said last week, the only followers we've gotten... Which is a lot, mind you. We've gotten a lot of followers in the three weeks that this channel's been active. Um, but the only followers we've gotten are from the main channel. Which is what I anticipated. But how do we get people from the Discover tab to follow the channel? Because I don't think many people browse the Discover tab. Or look through game categories to find a new creator. I don't think many people do that as much. I don't know what to do. I could co-stream the TikTok, but then I don't want to do it on my Clips account. I feel like that'd confuse people. I don't know. I mean, it, it's hard to build a channel from scratch. Like, the, I already anticipated that. Okay, so this layer is just about dry, so I'm gonna do a second coat here. Oh wait, no. I'm gonna have to do a second coat on all of the whole piece, and we'll do that at the very end. Cringe? Yeah, coast stream is cringe. <gasps> Sorry, I almost messed up. I mean, I feel like a lot of people coast stream, but I've explained my opinion before. It just feels like you're neglecting some part of your chat room when you do that. The only reason why people co stream is so you get more like clicks or more unique viewers, but I get a good handful of unique viewers on this channel. Because even though. Okay, my. Uh, what's the nice way of saying it? Viewer count is pretty good when compared to follower count. But I get a lot of unique viewers because the streams are longer. Clickbait tags might work. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think of, like, ways to title the stream. But 
But I don't think many people search through tags either. Oh, that's something I'm gonna have to figure out in like the first couple months that we work with this channel. Because as long as, you know, people are enjoying it and people are watching, I'll keep doing it. I mean, I'm gonna make art anyway. It's just, I don't know if it's a smart idea to do it on stream. Because I feel like whenever you do it on stream, I'm spending like an extra hour or two. Like maintaining the stream or talking to chat when I should be focusing. So... If I ever get to a point where I can sell my art, and like I have guaranteed buyers, then I think I'll do pieces on stream and then pieces off stream. I mean, since I'm only doing originals, maybe I can do like duplicate pieces and do those off stream because like people already saw how that piece was initially made. <laughs> Any lurkers want to help? Mod check? <laughs> Mod check lurkers? Uh, I think lurkers are the best viewers. Because, you know, they enjoy the stream, they watch the stream. They don't need attention. Lurkers are the best, man. That's why I hate when, like, I see clips of streamers shitting on lurkers, but lurkers are a majority of your viewer base. Because not everyone enjoys chatting. Or some people are there just to listen, just to vibe. Who does it? I've seen a few clips. I've seen clips on, like, TikTok and shit. I think the people who think that way don't understand streaming it. Because I feel like a lot of new people don't get it. Like, I know it took me, like, I think nine months to fully understand how streaming works. So that was like three months after I became affiliate, right? And that's when I started seeing like a bit more consistent consistency with streaming, whether it be like income viewer account, that type of shit. Like, that's when I got it. Majority of all social media is lurkers? Yeah. Like, people like to passively enjoy things. They don't necessarily need to be fully involved, and that's totally okay. I think being passively invested is a healthy way. Because you don't want to be too attached to anything or anyone. That's kind of why I fell out of fan culture a few years ago. Because I used to be, like, really into Tumblr. I used to be really into, like... Uh, fan fiction reading, <laughs> but I I got I got out of it because I got to a point where I was like, you know, I'm spending so much of my free time, like enjoying this content, but it feels like I'm in this outside world when I should be enjoying what's in front of me, you know? Ew, shut up! I feel like everybody had a Wattpad phase, okay? The S word? Stupid? <laughs> And shout out your follow the stream. If you're not following, follow the stream. Oh. Yeah. Well, I didn't say the word. You're the one who said it back, not me.
Look at how straight these lines are. Like, actually. My pro. Dude, we're an hour in. It's okay, it's okay. It's fine. I'm having fun. Chatters, are you guys having fun? Type one. Eight hours, here we go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Taco Bell nacho fries? I never tried that. I feel like most fast food prices have gone up. And it's sad. Because, like, a burger from Jack in the Box is, like, eight, nine dollars. But then when you get a burger from, like, a nice place, it's, like, fifteen dollars. And I don't know how much of it is them just raising the prices because they want to. Because I don't think food costs has drastically gone up. I assume for certain items, yes, it did, but I don't think for everything. I think a big reason why prices increased for most retailers during pandemic was so they could maintain similar profit margins for the previous year. No drama farming, no drama farming. What happened? Wait, sad you? Oh, sad rip. something but I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> I was gonna say when was anybody else unfazed when the queen died? I think it's one of those things when people get to a certain age you kind of anticipate something's gonna happen. Like my grandma she's 96 going on to 97 and like She's really healthy for her age, but I'm still, like, scared. I don't know if we'll get to see her. Because she doesn't want to travel. Yeah, I kind of get that, Mac, when, like, they're always kind of around and then the public influence.
Yeah, but my grandma doesn't want to travel for another year at least. Because she got COVID, but she was fine, thankfully, because, you know, she's boosted and shit. But it was still scary. And, like, we want to visit her. But it's too expensive. Like, a one way to Hawaii is, like, six, seven hundred... Or, er, round trip, sorry. It's, like, six, seven hundred bucks. And that's one person. I mean, I have a bit more money now that I got my <laughs> Twitch payout, but still, it's like... I can't spend all my money on a trip. I was thinking about it. And, like, all the people who were able to go to TwitchCon... They probably were able to spend, like, hundreds or thousands of dollars on that trip. And, like, I understand that TwitchCon primarily is for networking and, like, meeting other creators. But, like, if you're broke as bitch, you miss out on that opportunity. Because I don't know if I would have liked TwitchCon, because, like... I don't know. Would have felt too corpa. But I think being able to go on any vacation is a luxury. Because the only time we really went on trips when I was younger was when, like, my grandma paid for it. Or if there was, like, a funeral or something. But other than that, we didn't really have that luxury. And, like, a lot of people who are working class, they can't afford to take, like, a few days off of work. I don't think people realize how much of a privilege it is to be able to travel when you're younger. Or, like, be able to go to fucking Disneyland, too. Like, I remember I had a friend in elementary who was able to go to Disneyland every year since they were four years old. That, to me, is such a privilege. Like, I haven't even gone to Disneyland. I know my sister and I are, are saving up for a trip once Nintendo Land opens. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Nintendo Land literally looks fake. Well, all the commercials they have that they... Or when they announced Nintendo Land California, they, it was, like, augmented reality. Like, I think it would have been better if they showed, like, the sets from, like, the Japan location. Because, like, I've seen vlogs from people going to Japan for the Nintendo Land. It looks pretty cool. Like, obviously, it looks super cartoony. But I think it looks cool. Going back to the queen, <laughs> I think it's fair for people to be, like, unfazed and stuff, because, like, it's not like the monarchy is a part of, like, everyday diplomacy or, like, part of, like, major policy anymore. But if you look at the history that the monarchy has done in terms of, like, colonization, they aren't the best. They don't got the best track record. bit on a nice trip, Sag. When I become a mega billionaire, I'm gonna take all my chatters to Disneyland. Mark my words. But only for tier 3 subs. Whooped <laughs> <laughs> and ship, clip it, bitch.
<laughs> Cutting out the part about being tier 3. No! I mean, I think in order for me to be a mega billionaire, I need to average like a million viewers every stream, so... <laughs> when you said bitch to us directly, I get shocked why it's funny. That's how I talk with my friends. I think it's funny, like, I don't think I've ever used, like, bitch in, like, a mean way. I- I always say it, like, a playful manner. Okay, I do say, like, oh my god, you dumbass bitch, but it's never, like, actually malintent. Like, I'm always goofing and gaffing. It's funny, but unexpected. Do you guys think I'm a wholesome streamer? Type 1. Type 1. Yeah, who's gonna participate in Sunday stream? Cause you know We need people to give badges to. What's on Sunday? Hi Titans, welcome in. It's the Meg Esports subscriber only uh, Mario Party Superstars event. So if you win you give VIP. Compared to others, one? What do you mean by that, Mac? Is everybody else just a degen? Is that what you're saying? Damn. Yeah, I, I bet Titans is a D-Gen. <laughs> Are you a D-Gen, type 1? Kart. Bat chest Mario Kart. Might actually be able to th be there on Sunday. Hey, yo, that'd be great. more DJ and offline. Like in DMs, I go crazy. <laughs> like I definitely hold back and stream, but I'm IRL. I'm very perverted. In terms of like my humor. Like I'm not gross. I'm just very vulgar. Discord than anywhere else. That's why I don't have a Discord. I don't want the DJs to foster.
Discord would go crazy, but in a good way. I feel like Discord farms the parasocialists. Like, I know once I joined a streamer's Discord server, I felt so much more involved and invested in the streamer's success. But then, I feel like a lot of people, including the streamer, overshare. And I don't want to leak anything. Because I think a lot of people fail to realize when you post something online, you can't really unpost it. Like, even DMs, people can always screenshot them. So you just always have to make sure you're acting accordingly. Not necessarily for your own safety, but just so you can be like a good person. be concerned if I didn't act the way I do in DMs. Huh? <laughs> huh? What? They'd be concerned that you don't act like a teach-in, huh? What? Transparency? <laughs> I still don't get it. I still don't get it. I legitimately think I'm socially inept at times. Like, I don't know if I'm on the spectrum. I, my sister is. That's why I'm, I kind of think I am. But I'm not at her level, you know? I'm not... She's a lot... Better at being socially inept than me. <laughs> but I feel like I, I had to learn how to respond or interpret people. Like I feel a lot better about it now, but it took me years to like learn how to interact properly. Cause like I was super shy and re reserved up until like maybe like early high school. No. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. Okay. Okay, got it, Titans. I was like, what? <laughs> so what you're saying is, if you start behaving, people would be sussed out. Interesante. I mean, like, I do goof and gaff in DMs, but I, I tend to be somewhat serious when it comes to topics. Like, I, I'll switch between, like, joking and goofy Megan, and then, like, PR mode, if I feel like I need to be, like, more cordial. Yeah, the lines are coming along pretty nicely. Look at how straight they are. It's like one of your straight. I plead the fifth. 
Yeah, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I feel like, okay. I feel like a lot of people after high school come out. Which I think is fine, because I feel like high school is such, like, a hypercritical... Like, in terms of, like, everybody's, like, super, like, gossipy, everybody's, like, super, like, into everybody else's drama. But, you know, I've been seeing a lot of, like, they-thems from, like, a lot of high school people. And it's one of those things where, like, you, you feel like you knew. I mean, myself being queer, you kind of can feel it out with people. You learn who you are way more after high school, yeah. Because I feel like high school is too structured of an environment where you can't really, like, meet new people or explore yourself, really. Like, I kind of always knew that I was queer, but I didn't really, like, understand what it meant. Or, like, what it was until, like, Middle school. Or no, high school, sorry. Because that's when I had, like, more internet access. Because gay marriage became legal in, like, 2015, right? And I feel like that's when people became more, or when the people became less supposed to talk about it. What you draw? I'm painting. We're making this into a full painting. So welcome in, Luigi. Yeah, I feel like your identity... Like, don't ever feel like it has to be too structured. And sometimes it takes people years to figure out who they are and that's fine as long you as you s surround yourself with people who support you you'll be fine Fuck me, dude. I messed up that line. God, fuck me, dude. I kind of fixed it, but... I'm mad. I'm really mad. I don't have that, though. Like a support? If you mean a support, you can definitely find a lot of safe places online. <laughs> I said that in stats class the other day. My partner said, say less. <laughs> I think there's a lot of, like, welcoming communities online. It's just a matter of, like, finding one where you feel like you can mesh well.
like the piece and underscore 17 discord no not that is not that's an imaginary place that hasn't been conceived so that would not count like i said a million subs and i'll do a discord right now or maybe a hundred gifted if somebody drops a hundred gifted that'd be like insane Collectively drop a hundred? No, I need a hundred and one go. That's what I want. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Like I said, Discord's only happening if I can pay somebody to moderate. And the only way I can afford to pay somebody is if I have a lot of income. <laughs> I don't know how much you should comp compensate a mod for Discord. Cause I think I think it'd be similar to like an assistant, to where like they'd be on call, meaning they'd just be on standby moderating all day. It's not like they'd have to like keep the tab open. Yeah, but need like an assistant. <laughs> we can mod it. We are trustworthy, Kappa. Kappa. <laughs> Ugh, literally huffing copium. I think a good compensation <laughs> is subscribing with Prime, but no, I get the money from that, not the not the mod. Cause like I understand that like, people want to moderate for free, and fuck, and that's totally fine. But I don't feel comfortable with that. I keep on getting paint on my table. I need to calm down. Like, I don't want anybody working under me or with me to feel exploited. I think that's my main thing. You know, I want to be a good boss. Well, want a democracy on it? No. But there'd have to be a hierarchy. You know, it's gotta be checks and balances. It can't be a dictatorship where I'm the leader and everybody works under me. We need structure. Okay. It is what it is, I guess. Let's get a full cam POV of this. I need to stretch as well. It looks like a barcode. It looks like when I <laughs> like a barcode in a product. And those lines are pretty straight. Damn. Okay, so now. It's the QR code for the Discord. <laughs> if only. If only. Yeah, I'm moving my table this way a bit. There we go. Better POV. <laughs> I'll scan it to join right now. Okay, so now we're gonna draw in the kind of like haphazardly shaped lines. I think I'm gonna do it with a pencil. Yeah, I'll do the pencil. Let's clean off my brushes for now. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Can I say it's sus how you all want to Discord because it's making it seem like you want to slide in DMs, and that's kind of sus. You know, I am on my Insta like I'm not trying to touch anybody. Oh. 
wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it kind of concerning how there's like a lot of how should I say it? Like people who exploit their audience for explicit things. Isn't that kind of sus? Like when looking at streamers, YouTubers. Yeah, this- I agree. The TikTok notifications that are from TikTok are stupid. They're D-U-M. I'm- I'm watching my brushes. I just want to punch. <laughs> A lot of... Very concerning behavior. I think it's one of those things where, like, if you see something, say something. And if you yourself have ever experienced anyone that is concerning or that is being inappropriate towards you, like, say something. Because if it's happening to you, it's probably happening to other people in the community. <laughs> I see the QR code, <laughs> and I'm saying to join it. <laughs> uh, it's not existent. Fake news! I'm already in. You guys are lying. We should make the entry threshold like a mil- like a million gifted subs. That way I get a million gifted subs for every member. I think that would go crazy. I think that's a good business model. What do you guys think? Okay, so now... Mega's money around? Yeah, I gotta make this sustainable, you know? I don't wanna be a broke bitch forever. A lot of streamers don't farm enough. I like I feel like people should farm more. So that maybe I can finally make some friends. No. Yeah, I think member only discords or subscriber only discords is totally fair. I think I feel like it's fair. Yeah, you're right, Times. I've seen that. I'm no longer a Connor. Discord member because I can't afford to subscribe anymore. Sad, so I don't have his emotes. Makes me sad. Okay, let's start doing these lines now. arm to make the stroke. So it's for Discord? Yeah. My main concern is like, I don't want it to get raided. You guys can't see the strokes I'm doing, I'm sorry. Okay, that's a cool shape. Discord is fun when people are freaks, yeah. Because I feel like people treat Discord like a group chat, and I feel like that's how it should be treated. But I just don't want anybody to have the ability to dire directly message me or other viewers. That's where I feel like that's where problems arise. My goal is to be there for the Discord creation. Yeah, I just gotta keep watching for probably like five more years, maybe? I feel like we'd hit a milli subs by then. Or maybe... When I hit a million subs on YouTube. Ooh! Could be a good stake instead because that's definitely more achievable the 
the Fat Millie. I wish you guys could see how straight these lines are. I'm not, I'm not even using a ruler. <laughs> so I just want to be a Unironically, I'd be so good. Kappa. We would be silly and have night chats. I hope so. I mean, I feel like I'd be the most degen. I would control myself, sure. I think the biggest reason why I don't want to Discord is because I feel like I already put so much of my social battery into the actual stream that I don't know if I can guarantee to be like active in a server offline. Like, I feel like if I weren't active in my own server, it'd, like, mess up my mental. So I'd feel like I'd be neglecting people. What would you do or want for a hypothetical Discord? I don't know. I feel like it would just be, like, a big chat room, right? So many streamers who aren't active in their own yeah that, that's the problem and then they those are the people who complain like oh my discord is dead and it's like dumbass you don't even chat in it hmm. it's like you silly in order for people to chat because they want to be there for you when, when, like a small streamer discord, they're there for the streamer, not for the other viewers as much. Oh. Yeah, they, the viewers interact, but like I said, when streamers are small, the viewers like the personality, not necessarily the actual chatters as much. Lines are kind of going crazy. Yeah, I think a stream Discord becomes a community Discord when there's a lot of members. Like if there's maybe a thousand plus. But when somebody who has a very small platform has a Discord, then a lot of it is relying on how much the actual creator interacts. Well, sorry, I, I said the question weird. Whenever I greet people, I don't ask them, how are you doing? I usually just say, hope you're doing well. Because I feel like it doesn't force people into responding. Because not everybody wants to chat the whole time.
Like, yeah, I agree. Like, once a server becomes popular enough, and, like, you do hang out with the actual members of the server, but that doesn't really happen for a while. But I do worry for the younger members of chat, yeah. Like, if I ever did have a Discord, it'd, it'd, it'd of course be 18+. plus. Because I don't even want the opportunity for a minor to be talking to an adult. Like, I think having under 18 viewers watching the stream is fine. Because, you know, I'm not directly talking to them. You know, they're usually engaging with the chat room. And a stream is very well documented, it's not like it's secret or anything. But with Discord, or like offline communities, you have direct access to those people. And it's very sus. Also, chatters do not self-report. If you are under 13 or if you're a minor. Like, just keep your age to yourself if you're a minor. How would you be rude? Yeah, there is the age authorization for Discord and Switch, but I feel like people could still skirt. A lot of complexities but that I don't think I can handle just yet because like I already have a, like a lot of shit going on in my personal that I can't necessarily talk about and I genuinely feel if I had a discord I would leak because like I don't post whenever I like leave my house I don't post whenever I go out to eat because I have this fear in my mind that someone's gonna figure out the restaurant I'm eating at. Like, just shit like that. Like, I'm gonna self-report, but I have, like... Like, you know how some people have a stalker brain? Where, like, they know how to do things, but they don't act on it? That's kind of how I am. Like... Because I like to think and understand how other people think. So, I, I don't know, it, it's hard to, like, it's hard to, like, want to be open and share things that are in my life, knowing that if I share too much, someone could, like, easily find me or, like, know too much shit. Yeah, like, there's a lot of female creators and male creators who face, uh, like, unwanted attention from their fans, and it's very scary. Cause like, it's not their fault. Like, you can't help that crazy people will like you. Like, it's very sad that that's a reality that a lot of larger creators face. And I just hope that doesn't happen to me. Like, you know the bee reel? Where you post, like, pictures of yourself throughout the day, like, front and rear-facing camera? I feel like those are not good. Because, like, the idea of posting where you are in real time is not good. Like, it'd be very easy for someone to pinpoint where you are.
Yeah. That's why, like, I like the idea of being able to stream full time. Because, like, just to think that that many people like me or want to spend time with me is kind of crazy. But to think that larger creators, like, have to have security whenever they go out is concerning. Like, that shouldn't be a reality that they have to face. I lose so much faith in humanity when I think about it, yeah. And that's another reason why a lot of creators feel like they can't talk about it. Because you don't want to give attention to those people because you don't want to give people ideas, you know? Anyway, line work is done. You can count to the pencil. Wow. Yeah. When I started streaming, I knew what it was going to entail or possibly entail. That's why, like, I'm super careful about what I share. Oh my god, a Bowser's Fury! <laughs> scan the QR code, <laughs> scan the QR code, guys. <laughs> Wait, I haven't been updating fucking IG, guys! Guys! IG Frog's in shambles right now. Fuck! Guys! Shatters! It's been literally two hours. It's been two hours! God damn it, guys! Shit! y'all. You're only supposed to remind me. Should I put a timer in chat? Is that what I need to do? <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy! <laughs> y'all are so silly. Y'all are so silly. Sorry, I gotta answer your text. Yeah, I keep on filling the chat box with coffee boss, but guys, keep at it, keep at it. I had um, the the direct cheer, but that was ass. But I wish I had elevated chat. I think elevated chat is funny. Elevated chat, it's like YouTube super chats to where people donate in chat and then their message gets pinned to the top of the chat room for X amount of time. I can pin so many funny messages. Yes! And then I can farm donations. <laughs> I, I, it's funny because like, I think I've only seen elevated chat in like the larger streamers chat rooms. It, like, half the time, the streamer doesn't even read it. <laughs> and it's funny, because, like, sometimes it'll be funny shit. Okay, anyway, we're gonna start painting, guys. Back to work. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. But see, the trick is, I just don't read out the elevated messages, that way it encourages people to do it. Or it encourages people to say funnier shit.
Huh? Yeah. You know, you gotta learn how to farm. When I say farm, I mean like encourage people to donate. <laughs> you know, we gotta make money somehow. Oh, my table's crooked, I just realized. It's, it's ricketing, it's teetering back and forth. I would just pin paradoxes. I wonder if there's a character limit. So I think it'd be funny to pin a chat message that was super long to where it just covered the whole chat room. That'd be good, Mac. That'd be funny. chat is that a one dollar chat message only stays up for 30 seconds i feel like the time windows aren't long enough chat is that it uses the Twitch's automod function so all the messages get clear through your automod so for example if you have like filtered bad words or filtered like aggression in your automod settings it'll automatically filter it in the elevated chat which is nice um because I don't use any bots for moderation I solely rely on automod I mean, Automod is pretty good. Like, Twitch's Automod is really good. I was just gonna curse a lot. Nice try, Mac. <laughs> Mac is whack. This is one straight line down here. Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, I was when I was making the title, I didn't realize that it was a a Billie Eilish verse. Cause like 
what's the TikTok sound? And it's like, am I the bad guy? Am I? Like, that's a TikTok sound, right? But I couldn't find it. Holy fuck! Sorry. <laughs> I have my water bin under my desk, and my phone cable was in the bin. Not the outlet side, just the cable. <laughs> Oopsie. I don't want another power strip incident. saying the wrong quote. Or it's like, am I the problem? I think it's that. Is that it? What's the current trend on TikTok? I don't know. I feel like I need to ban the hashtag food on my TikTok. Because I genuinely feel that's why I've been snacking a lot more. Because, like, I'll open TikTok just to, like, see what's on there. And then I get so many food videos, and then I get hungry, and then I eat. <laughs> yeah, I think the Creasy Wake Up meta was dumb, too. I agree. me TikTok. Like, you ever get those TikToks from a minute to, to you when it's like, oh, use the sound, you'll get 2,000 views in 10 minutes. I hate those. Table keeps teetering. It's worse. Yeah, I've been getting a few bot comments on TikTok. But I usually just delete them. Didn't we just hear this song? imagine not using any social media for a month. I mean, the only time I really use it is to post. So, like, imagine I don't post to TikTok for a month. That'd be sad. I'm never going back? Good. Social media is so bad for your mental. Like, if I didn't stream, I wouldn't use social media at all. so good mentally. I'm glad to hear that, Mac. I think it's hard for me because a lot of people I went to school with, because I graduated five years ago, a lot of people are, like, graduating from college. Like, a few people have, like, kids or some people are engaged and it's just like, damn. I'm stuck at home. Not working. Streaming. And I have yet to finish my degree. But then I remember that everybody finishes things or goes through life at their own pace. So you shouldn't feel stressed to feel like you're keeping up with the crowd.
That's just one part of their life and they may not even be happy. Exactly. That's why, like, I never posted two personal things on my social media even before I started streaming because I feel like... Obviously, you're, like, faking that smile for a picture. And, like, with social media, you only ch you can choose what you post and make public. That's why I think it's so funny when people get surprised whenever, like, a popular or someone with influence, like, breaks up with their girlfriend or something. Like, you never go know what's going on behind closed doors. That's why I decided if I ever do get in a relationship, I will never make it public. Because I just want to respect my privacy and also whatever partner's privacy they have. That's why I don't like talk about friends as much either that I know IRL. There are two hours. Hmm. I think I think this done in six. I think it's doable. I have a loose bristle. Oh, it's gone now. The fuck? Okay, bye, Titans. Sorry, I'm focusing. There's a loose bristle, but now it's gone. Cool. Have fun. Oh, you're not leaving it? Oh! Baiting for attention again. Typical. <laughs> she wants me out of here? No, you phrased it like you were leaving. It almost is like you're gaslighting me, and I don't like being gaslit. I'm the one who's supposed to be gaslighting. Running as a managing. Oh, okay. Got it, boss.
I think the one thing that I would be excited about the Discord is that I'd have like people who'd want to play offline. Like having game nights and stuff, I think that'd be fun. Because I don't have anybody I really play games with. I mean, because I only play on the Switch, I don't know console or PC. But I think it'd be fun. about physical school because I'm still doing online is I don't necessarily like get to go to the library I don't have any clubs because you can join the clubs remotely but it's not the same send the link again so I can join no I gotta go back in the VOD Mac obviously to get another console would you get um i have a playstation but my or it's my sister's playstation or i would want to set up the wii we'd have to play wii games because we have one it's just i don't have the cables and shit But anyway, chatters, gentle reminder, if you aren't following the stream, you should follow, because then you get the chat, and your name shows up on screen. Wow. If you aren't following, drop me a follow, it's a hashtag follow for free. <laughs> I messed up the line. It's fine. I didn't overshoot it too much. It's salvageable. Okay, saved. Saved. All good. Imagine I did this whole piece with pieces of tape. Instead of hand doing the line art. That'd go crazy. I mean, I've seen people do, like, intricate, like, washi tapes in order to, like, let's say, for example, they paint a character and then they want to do, like, a galaxy background. They have to pull a washi tape over the whole character. Crazy. There we go. Yeah, sounds way too tedious, huh?
Okay, chatters who watch the stream on this channel regularly. How do you know that the stream is live? Do you have notifications turned on? Do you follow the art Twitter? Do you follow my main Twitter? How do you know when this stream goes live? Because I think something interesting about doing a new channel, keeping everything separate, is I can kind of see what works and what doesn't work. You saw it on the art Twitter, okay. Twitter notifications from Twitch. Okay. Wait, Twitter notifications from Twitch? What? Oh wait, cause Mac, you were in the offline chat like five minutes before, so you probably saw the tweet, right? Is that what you mean? Cause I think your best bet... Oh, you forgot the comma? Okay. <laughs> I think your best bet is to have notifications turned on for the actual Twitch channel and follow the art Twitter. Cause I usually post when I'm going live a few minutes early. You plan your day around the stream time? That's cute. I know for me, I don't necessarily go out much, as you guys can see. I've been live every day this week so far, basically. Um. Damn, if I would stream tomorrow, then I would be live for seven days in a row. That's kind of crazy to think about. I don't think I've ever had a stream week that full. Um, but if I'm home, I usually have something playing in the background. Like, I know I'm... I'm like three days behind on Hassan VODs. Because I've, I've been streaming every day. <laughs> so I'm still catching up on his stuff. But anyway, whenever I'm home, I always have like a stream playing. My week just consists of work and school. See, that's kind of how I am. Because I, I try to treat streaming like a job. That's why like I'm very structured with it. I usually do it at the same time. And like while I have the time to stream, I should treat it like a job. I should take it seriously, you know. Fuck. Okay, I fixed the line. It's fine. It's fine.
Because I think school starts up... Because I took a two-month break for September and October. The school starts... Online classes start again for me next, next week. So, like, the week of Halloween streams is going to start again. But I think the Halloween streams, since they're, like, one-off streams, they'll be shorter. They'll probably be, like, two or three hours in length. Long. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a different comp. I'm changing the comp. Oh, sorry. I skipped the song. Lamau. <laughs> I, I was getting sick because that compilation was called Beach Nintendo Music, and it was two hours long. It was getting too much. I was getting bored. I kind of wanted to skip to the Wii music, <laughs> like the Wii Fit shit. Sorry, Crystal, but I'm the DJ today. Stop. I did not do it on purpose. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you guys are dumb. We are such... <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about? I'm really glad people like this second channel. It's still wild to me that, like... A good handful of people watch the art streams for the... I guess this is the third one. But thank you guys. Okay, let's update IG real quick because we're happy through this part. Oh, my legs! I should probably eat something, huh? Let's get some water first. should be fine, right? Yeah, we're only two hours in, so it's not time for my 30 just yet.
I thought you were gonna take a break. Oh, no. I'm not hungry just yet. Maybe in an hour I'll eat a snack. And by snack, I mean leftover McDonald's from yesterday. <laughs> Because usually on the days where I stream, I eat my breakfast, or on the days where I don't stream, I eat breakfast earlier. Like today, I ate breakfast at 8, when normally on a stream day, I eat at 10. Because, like when I stream, I stream for 3 to 4 hours on the main channel, knowing that I can't eat till I'm done streaming. Anyway, so, on days where I don't stream, or if I'm going to stream earlier, then I'll eat earlier. But then that means I have to eat my lunch earlier. I had leftover kale soup for breakfast, and hopefully I don't shit my brains out later, like I did yesterday. <laughs> That's also kind of why I had to end stream early yesterday, because like, it was unpredictable, let's say. I think that's also why I felt sick. Because, like, you know when you have indigestion, it just makes you feel like shit. Like, just all over. And then you shit all over. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, a little bit of potty humor is fine. I think it's funny. Controversial, but I think potty humor is best humor.
Yeah, Mario Kart music always goes crazy. I'll need to find a comp that just has Mario Kart music. So much progress, yeah. We're probably like, like with the overall base design, we're like 80% done. But then I gotta do a second coat because the black isn't. It looks opaque on camera, but it's really streaky. I mean, I kind of like the look of a non-fully opaque because I like seeing the texture brushes, but it just looks unprofessional. Thank you, we're getting along. You can see the streaks, really? Oh, I mean, probably because you guys are able to watch in full screen. But in my, like, OBS view, it's only at, like, a 50% of a full screen. So that's probably it. Ooh, that was a perfect stroke right there. Imagine I'm getting better as we continue.
think if we're this far along at 2.30, my prediction is this will be done at like five hours. That's my guess. I think because for this one, we're not using many colors. Wanna make for VIP? No. Like, what are the stakes? What do I have to gain, and then what do you have to gain? If I don't finish within five hours, I'll get my regular chat one sub. And if I do, you guys have to sub with Prime. Or on this channel, I gotta just follow. Got a shovel with Prime on Saturday. E. Any primers? God, fuck me. Sorry. I. That is so bad. You want to see how bad it is? Look at that. That is so bad. That is genuinely horrible. I'm really mad. You can't see it? Well, if you're an artist, you can see how crooked that line is because I fucked up the way I held my brush. It's fixable, though. It'll be like it almost never happened. He's fixed, saved. Fair enough. Though, I feel like even a non-art person could tell how bad I fucked up that line. It was painstakingly obvious. <laughs> Nothing to see here, buyers. Exactly. <laughs> See, that's the glory about doing it live. You guys can see when I fuck up, and then you can also see how I fix the mistakes. Oh my god, oh my god, I messed up again. I'm not used to working with a wider brush, that's why. What's nice about this pattern is that I can easily cover up. So it's no big deal.
Yeah, this is the loaded screen music for 3D World. Or I guess the music of the first level. It's pretty solid. I just thought of a great idea. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like cost-effective gifts I can get for a five rail because it's like my friend's niece's birthday's coming up, so like we're trying to like brainstorm ideas of like something cheaper we can get them. And like, what if we got the like a mini painting set and then I made them like a line art mini painting? Wouldn't that be kind of cute? Cause like the the niece is kind of artsy. I think that'd be cute. Why are you saying? Oh, I'm asking if it's a good idea or not. <laughs> I know for me, I think the idea of having a coloring book would be kind of cool. Because I feel like if I did like super intricate geometric work, I think that'd be kind of interesting for a color book idea. But coloring books are so easy to rip. <laughs> because since they're like just line art, someone can easily scan and reprint it. Um... But I think the idea of selling, like, you know how they have those, like, paint-by-number paintings? I think if I were to do something like that, that'd be kind of interesting to sell. Because I've seen a few artists on Patreon who, like, mail out, like, their own custom paint palettes. Where they, like, mix the colors for you. This is Odyssey. Wait, I gotta see what song that is. Cause that one gets copyrighted all the time. And it's so goddamn annoying. For some reason, some like third party company copyrights that song on like everybody's videos. And it's not even like the proper rights holders. Because YouTube's copyright system is ass.
Okay, my stomach growling at at three hours, I'll take a break. We'll take a ten. I'll take a chat, and then I'll eat my hamburger. I should try and move my mic right up to my stomach. That way you guys can hear it, because it's fucking loud. <laughs> What was good? I was gonna make your mom joke and be like, what was so good your mom last night? But I was like, oh, that's not the right way to say it. <laughs> oh, the song? Yeah, this is the song that plays when you get onto like the, the sea creature thing in Fury, I think. Yeah, I want to see what this song is from. So I don't think I've heard it before. Let's touch that line up. There we go. Oh, Grasslands. What the fuck? 
Okay, I need to touch up that line up here real quick because I just noticed it. It's kind of crooked. There we go, that's better. I put too much paint on that big brush. There we go, fixed. You know, if it takes me long, or if it takes me this long to do flat color, imagine how long it'd take me to do like a fully rendered realism piece. That'd be like a 24 hour stream, huh? Oof, yeah. <laughs> Okay, the final section.
Okay. Base layer is down. Pencil is down. 253. Not too bad. My goal is to get the base done by three hours. So let me wash my brushes and then we'll get a full POV. See, if I had, like, nicer paints, we could do one layer, but I don't have that yet. Sag. And, like, for now, I don't necessarily want to mix colors every strain. Because since I work very slow with acrylic, you have to work fast. So I don't want to mix colors only for them to dry out. Like, we kind of had that issue when we did the ombre piece. So I'm only going to invest in nicer paints when I get better and quicker with my work. Okay. Let's see what she looks like. It's just like the car, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, so what we need to do is add another layer of black. And I think what I want to do. Okay, I need to think about how I'm going to do it, though. I think in some parts, I want to add, like, a gold border. Because see the parts that kind of, like, point inwards? I kind of want to thicken it, but do, like, gold. Like, as an accent color. I think that would look cool. What do you guys think? Good base designer. I think I need to do the gold first before I put the black on. Because if I do, like, the gold border, then I can touch up on top of black. Because it's a lot harder to touch or put gold on top of black. Okay, so I think before we do a second layer of black, I'll do gold. So, we're gonna let that dry for a little bit. Update IG. I have to use the bathroom and grab lunch. So, chatters, I'll be here. Um. Why are you doing Rip Bozo? <laughs> If everybody could go politely follow my Instagram, it's peason underscore art underscore. You'll get to see high quality pictures of the final paintings. Wait, we should stop the timer. Yeah, we stop the timer for now. Make sure to remind me to turn the timer back on, okay? Hello, Mao, and grab a snack so chatters we're gonna go in emo only mode okay don't freak out don't freak out everything is a-okay and i'll be right back okay spam as much emotes as you want okay it's pretty safe and if you are watching on twitch desktop and you don't have these third-party extensions downloaded, you should download them right now during the little break, okay?
going back. Oh, the camera shaped it! <laughs> Blow them out. No leaks, no leaks. <laughs> I don't have anything in that POV that'll leak anything anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna eat real quick. I will enjoy looking at the painting for a little bit. You know when you have, like, the leftover burger and... Like, in the fridge, the condensation makes it soggier. My hamburger's really soggy. And I'm really sad. normalize letting streamers take breaks on stream what do you guys think because I, I feel like it's toxic for viewers to expect their streamer to be live for like seven eight hours and like not eat or like not use the bathroom i think that is insane streamer when they take <laughs> when they take like a bathroom break but my entertainment I mean I feel like most switch viewers I know you're trolling I know you're trolling I feel like most switch viewers they just like to have it on the background so like probably two or three minutes of dead air isn't that bad in my opinion Halfway done with my burger. I probably have like two more bites. Cause like, whenever you get fast food, my dad always gets like the cheaper option. But I'm at the point in my life where, if I want to spend like an extra two dollars for like the premium burger from the fast food, I don't care. I'd rather spend that two bucks, you know. burgers they're like a dollar 25 but you have to buy five to fill yourself that's what he gets like my dad is the guy in the drive through where he buys like 10 of those thin ass dollar burgers No more cheeseburger at that point? I know. I know. Like when the bag is only like not even a quarter inch thick, it's not worth it. realized I forgot to grab the gold acrylic now I have to climb back over my desk again okay one more bite one more bite
appreciate your guys' patience, though. I think most everyone stayed, so thank you, lurkers. Thank you. I guess that's what, another reason why streamers don't like leaving their stream. To, like, go piss or whatever. Because they're scared people will leave, which people do leave, and it's sad. We chillin', yeah. Thank you guys for staying, though, genuinely. It makes me feel a lot better. Because, like, that's why, um... I don't use the restroom typically on my mainstream. Because I feel like the main channel content, like gaming, you have to be more engaged. So, like, when there's dead air or when you go do something, people leave. It's really sad. I, I can imagine it's a lot more impactful on, like, the big boy streamers. When they see, like, 30 people leave at once, it's like, whoa. That's kind of sad. But I get it, because people want to choose how they spend their time. Oh, I can turn cam back on. I'm done eating. Yep. Okay, so... I have... I think the set was, like, $30. Um... I have these metallic acrylics. So, there are different shades of, like, bronze, gold, there's silvers. So, I just want to see... Which one looks the best? They're very small. Like I said, this whole set was like $30, so probably there's five, ten. No, three dollars per bottle. Not bad, but it, since these are metallics, they, they are a higher price point. They are kind of translucent though, which is kind of sad. So hopefully they don't require too many coats. I don't want to do silver because I feel like silver is a bit too close. This kind of like bronzy red or copper might look kind of cool. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. I'm like, which one looks best? Oh, I should put them up this way. That you guys can actually see the color better. Because, like, these two are almost empty because I used these for a painting project. So there's not much left in these. Like, I have a full bottle of this gold, but it's a bit too, like, orangey. Hmm. Like, I think this gold would be perfect, but this bottle's, like, literally empty. See, like, I used it July- holy! July 2021, damn! Like, I'm the weirdo at home who writes when we use things. Like, in the fridge, when I open, like, jam or something, I write the date. Because, like, I used to work in food, so whenever you open something, you have to label it. I want to see why. So I can know how long it lasts. Like, this lasted me a year. Like, 721. Okay, I'm going to tap on the table. Don't freak out. just want to see how much is in here. Yeah, there's probably, like, only this much, so there's not enough. Maybe I can try to mix them? Yeah, there's not much of this one, either. I think we're gonna have to use... Because, like, this gold is not... It's not gold. It's basically, like, brown. Yeah, this one's full. Maybe I think we can use this one. This one's fine. Maybe I can tote it down a little bit. Add like a touch of bronze. Maybe we could try that. To like dull it a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we'll actually get to mix colors today. Okay, let's put this in. <clears throat> Oh, this bronze is really pretty. These metallic paints are really nice. They're not necessarily as opaque as I thought they'd be, but the pigment goes crazy. Oh, shit. 
the the plastic came apart, see? Or you can't really see from that angle. See like it split. Damn. Okay, let's not open it over the painting, that'd be dumb. Chatters are smart, not dumb. Dude, imagine I spilled all over. I'd cry. Wait, I can start the timer now. Why did nobody remind me? Chat is bad. They're trying to make me scam myself. Or I guess they're trying to make it better for the buyers. Make it seem like I'm working less than I actually am. Oh, the film is... It's like completely stuck on here. Oh, no. See, look. The the plastic film came off the foil. See, like, I can do this and it's not... God frick. Why does this happen? I mean, these paints are like a year and a half old. That's probably it. It's gonna burst. It's gonna burst. She's gonna blow! Look at that. I think maybe what I need to do is when I stop the timer, I turn it off the screen. That way when I look and I see the timer's gone, I remember. I think I'll try that. I got a golden thumb. Yeah, if I just did this gold, it's too bright. It looks literally looks like orange. Okay, so I'm gonna mix the bronze or the copper and the gold to dull it down a little bit. <coughs> I'm trying to get my finest brush. This one. Okay, let's get to mixing. So, like I said, I'm put gonna I'm gonna put gold in like the places where it kind of turns in like here. That way, it kind of reinforces the diamond shape. Okay, let's get to work. I don't know how much copper to add. Start off with two drops. Okay, that looks nice. You can see it's not nearly as bright. Or... <laughs> that looks a lot better. I have to do homework soon, Sag. Yes, Sag. I'm not excited for school to start for me again. I really enjoyed the break I had. I mean, like, there's a lot less going on now, but... 
I, I just need to finish my degree. Like, I was I was considering requesting another month off, but I was like, no, I can't push my graduation any further. Okay, let's go ahead and start adding the gold accents. Oh, it's not okay it's kind of opaque oh not really it's kind of translucent still damn yeah we're gonna have to do two coats of this gold as well damn 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 Yeah, but see how it's going like thicker here? Let's zoom in. Yeah, see how it's like thick here at where like the this this part would be and then thin at the point. To get a bit more definition. See how this one still like goes in then out? I don't think I want to add it here because like this line is almost straight. I wouldn't add too much definition, so I'm not gonna add it on every like corner that goes like this in. Oh, I grabbed too much paint. nice it's very subtle but I think it adds like a really nice touch
I just had deja vu <laughs> of me painting the stroke right here. Isn't deja vu kind of funny? Isn't deja vu like your mind tricking you into thinking that is familiar? Like basically like it's literally all in your head. You know how I said earlier, I don't like mixing points because I feel like I'm going to waste it? I mixed way too much gold. I, I do not need this much. <laughs> I overestimated. I mixed way too much. But it's fine. It's fine. It's not like these paints costed $30. It got wasted? No. I, like... Since it's not a lot of surface area that I'm covering, I should be able to work quicker so it's not going to dry out. I can easily put it back in the bottle. So it's fine. I mean, because, like, when you're mixing colors, I think it's better to over mix because it's hard to, like, duplicate the color you made, you know? I mean, I'm no pro. I don't know what you're actually supposed to do, but... Like, I know when people apprentice at, like, actual studios, they have all the newbies mixed colors, because no nobody likes mixing colors. Better ha to have more than less. I mean, in this case, yeah.
Oh, I should have one here. I didn't see this part.
Pumpkin and Mo. Once again. I don't think anything can beat Coconut Mall. I think Nintendo peaked with this song. Nice try, Mac. I don't know, but for some reason my neck really hurts today. Oh, liner on that one is fucked. It's fucked. We're gonna have to touch that up with black later. My first mess up in a while. Damn. It's doing so well. Better than world peace? Debatable, yeah. <laughs> I mean, will, will world peace ever be accomplished? I think that's a utopia that people like to think will happen, but I generally don't think it will. Because even if the population wants it, you can't guarantee that the leader will follow suit. Because I think no matter to what point a world or country gets to, no one can be fully satisfied. Because I think it's, it's in human nature to always want more, to be greedy. Not that close. The the brass on here is almost the same shade, but it's slightly brighter.
No, I think this compilation was upbeat Mario music. But it's a lot of Mario music. I think because a lot of Mario Kart music goes crazy. Like, there's not a lot of chill Mario Kart music. The final section right here is where we'll put gold. Because in my stream music playlist is just a bunch of YouTube like compilation videos. So there's like a lot of repeat songs, which is fine. But I think I had three compilations that are like, ooh, summer music, chill water music. So they're all kind of similar. Which is fine, but it's, it's I'm gonna get annoyed. <laughs> I wish I could play like copyright fee music or, um, cause I know there's some like people who let you use their music for free and that's fine. But sometimes YouTube still catches it. I haven't had many issues with game music, so that's the only thing we can really listen to on stream that won't cause issues later on. Okay, so we have the base layer of gold down. Let's get a full POV. Yep. Nice. I think it would look cool if I did like red instead of gold, but the gold look, looks nice in person. It shimmers. There we go. So that's gonna be that's our, our design is done. It's done now. All we need to do is do a second coat of everything. So let's update IG. I think it's not. It's not as complex as my other designs, but I kind of like how simple it is. I think it'd be cool. What I want to do at some point is I want to be able to like airbrush paint. That way you get like a nice ombre. Because I feel like this would look nice if, um, if I could do like airbrush, like light gray on the tips. That way it goes like dark to light, dark, light. I think that would look cool. But I love the airbrush paintings, because it looks like the ombres are so soft. Second coat of gold, second coat of black, and then we're done. Oh, I can definitely get this done in five hours. No shot it will take longer than that. I think, I think exactly five hours. That's probably what it's going to look at max. Max five hours. So right now, going over with another coat of gold to make it more opaque.
No way, 5.30? No, I, I think... Because the second coat doesn't take as long, because you don't have to have your liner be as clean. I think five hours on the dot. You wanna make a bet? One gifted sub in the channel tomorrow, whoever loses. Five hours. I say five hours. And Mac, if you lose, you can't use your prime and you have to suffer as a non-sub. <gasps> Peace I to guess. If you're that confident. <laughs> no way, why? Because it'd be funny. Then I can't play Sunday? Exactly! Do you really think it's gonna take me 5.30? I think 5. I think 5 hours. I mean, you don't have to agree to said deal. We're just goofing and gapping right now. No. <laughs> You know, deals gotta have stakes for both parties. Oh, the gold looks nice with two coats. It's so much more opaque. No regrets. Because I think doing the second coat of black is going to take an hour. If not like an hour 20. Because I just have to go over everything with that medium sized brush. Somebody zoom in with this gold second coat.
I have to clean off my brush because the paint's starting to harden.
Okay, I'm starting to get, to get a blister on my ring finger. I'm not happy. Okay, we're almost done with gold, though. getting a blister now is since the brush I'm using is smaller I have to grip it harder that's why like unironically like those big pencils they let first graders and kindergartners use to practice are actually kind of nice like they're a lot easier on your hands or your fingers rather those pencils big it's because they're easier to grip because when you like gripping this versus this you have to hold your fingers closer together it requires a lot more motor function that's why with the younger kids they usually let them practice with those bigger utensils Yeah, they have bad motors. Yeah, because they're like four and five. <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely poured out too much gold. I definitely could have used the letter shades. But you know what? It's fine. Like, I have a lot left, see? Just get better, easy, I know. Okay, so second coat of gold is done. It is definitely a lot more opaque. I'm gonna put it back in the bottle. I don't think I'll need to remix more. It's fine if the shades are slightly different. Once I mix up this jar again, or bottle again, it'll be fine. Let's update IG, because it's been about 20 minutes. Oh, oh no, do I only have an hour to do the black? Fuck, but I, oh no. Oh no, I actually might not be able to get it done in an hour. Ah! 
You know, I should never make gambas. I should never make bets. Oh no. We didn't we didn't shake on it, so we did not shake on it. No, I, I did not shake. I did not shake, so it did not count. I mean, I think I could do it in an hour. I think it's totally plausible. I actually have an hour and five. I think I could do it. Okay. Let's get to it. So I'm doing a second layer of black now. So I'm going to work this way. That way I don't drag too much. Should we change our title? Let's change our title. You know, we got to clickbait in the final hours, right? Has not been changed. I have an hour. My goal is an hour. I think I could do it. Type one if you think I could do it. Type two if you hate me. <laughs> or type two if you don't believe in me, rather. <laughs> I think I can do it. I can do it. You know, if I believe, I can do anything. I think I could do this in 40. Not even. Because look, look how easy this is. I'm just touching up. Darters and shambles. Dude, I wish we had predictions. Can we please get affiliate? That way we can do predictions, chatters, please. Please. I want a gamba. Yeah, so I'm going to touch up some of these edges as I go. Thank you. 
My biggest fear right now is spilling paint. Like, just spilling like a drop. That's what I'm scared of. We can't afford a mistake this late in the game. Okay, that's one section done. Nine more. Easy. I can easily get this done in an hour. Easy clap. Get ready to spam. I was here, guys. tell you can't tell but I fucked up that line look oh no see look oh no it's not straight oh no the only way I can fix it is fine I just have to extend it out that way god damn I'm out speed running this is what I get for speed running Frick! Easy fix, easy fix. Um, collectors, don't worry, don't worry. Just skip this part of the VOD. Just skip it, just skip it. Skip it like five minutes. You know, easy fix, easy fix. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Oopsie, I'm sorry. <laughs> see, look, he can't even tell you. He can't even tell. I did not mess up. But are you dropping as we speak? No! No, 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 no. Like I said, skip this part of the VOD, collectors. This is not... This is, <laughs> this is not what it seems. Everything is A-okay. See, look, you can't even tell, you can't even tell. Line looks straight as heck. Look, 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 look. Perfecto. I'm definitely clipped this letter. No! No! Do not clip the stream. Do not subscribe. Don't do anything. Nah, it's fine. It's funny. I don't care. If you're gonna clip it, make the title really good. Okay, I have to focus. Maybe I should get a smaller brush, huh? Should I get a smaller one? No, I think this is the smallest wide tip I have. I spilled- No, I did not spill paint. I technically messed up the stroke. <laughs> Messing up the stroke. That sounds like a different kind of video. Ah. Talking about messing strokes? It's not time for an ad. We can't even run ads on this channel. Sag.
you know what I've done one time? Um, I just watched the top clip. Yeah, screw Crystal for clipping that. Honestly, screw Crystal. But also, good job. That was a good, good bait. Good bait. Uh, what I've done accidentally is like when I alternate brushes, you'll see me. I put one in my mouth and then I switch. Um, one time I was working like this and I accidentally clipped the painting with the brush. It was a very sad day. Oh, fuck. I only have 55 minutes, guys. 55 minutes. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference on camera, but it's so much more opaque now. Oh, yeah, you can. You can. Two coats is the way to go. I might have to do more coats on my other two pieces. Or that blue swirly one we did on Monday, because the colors aren't as opaque as I want them to be, so I might have to do additional coats. I'm still debating. Because, like I said, I kind of like the washed out look where you can see the brush strokes. But I know it doesn't look as clean. Okay, I put way too much paint on that brush. Honestly, shout out to the chatters who clip the streams. Y'all are such a big help. Because as you can see, some clips perform somewhat well. Another section done. Easy. I'm gonna touch up the lines up here real quick. Next part. Okay, that one came out good.
Okay, at 4.12. I can easily get this done in five hours. No shot, I can't finish. The only way I don't finish in time is if I fuck up really bad. Like I did earlier. But I don't think that's gonna happen again. Fuck! I actually just messed up again. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Easy fix, easy fix. Dude, that was actually bad. I'm gonna have to add more gold. God damn. That's not, I, I swear to God. I did not do that on purpose. I swear. You can't tell, but I overshot that line right here. So now I have to add a touch of gold once this black is dry. Frick me, dude. I just need to, like, just shut up and never talk again. If you agree, type 1. We do a gnome like painting stream. How boring would that be? Because, like, I feel like I don't talk enough during these art streams, but I understand that people like to lurk and vibe. But it's hard to, like, think of something to talk about. Or maybe the five-head move is I don't add- No, I can still add gold. It's salvageable. That's another part done. We'll have to touch that gold up at the end. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. It's hard working with the larger brush because when you press, it fans out the brush. So it's kind of unpredictable, or it's, you have to be a lot more precise with like how you actually like place the brush on the canvas. Because if you press harder, it fans out more. I feel like we've heard this song a million times today. It's because it's in every single little compilation. I mean, it's a nice song, but it's getting annoying. Or maybe I'm just annoyed because I keep fucking up my lines. Am I the problem? Oh my god! Sorry, I fucked up again. Oh no! I had a huge glob. Fuck me, dude. Just happy little accidents, just happy little accidents, Kappa. Oh shit. See how much- see how much that sticks out right there? It's because there was like a big glob on the brush, I didn't realize it. Okay, we're gonna fix it. It's fine. We'll just have to come back at the end. See, whenever I do a second coat, I get sloppy. Because I get overconfident that it'll be fine, but then it's not fine. Am I okay? No, I'm not okay.
I feel like I've heard these songs a million times, yeah. It's because I can't really play anything else. I would play, like, copyrighted music, like, you know, actual music, but I don't want to get clapped. I've explained it before. But even if you exclude the audio source from the VOD, you can still get taken down during your actual live stream. Similar to, like, how YouTube lives go, if you fuck up once, it's... It's GG's. I mean, I don't think you can get banned from live streaming unless your whole channel gets banned, but you can just automatically go live again right after. It's from Nintendo? I was like, I haven't heard this before. It's nice. Oh, you can- You can definitely see the difference between, like, this half and then that half. It's so much more opaque. I love it. Totally worth. So you got 40 minutes. Okay, next section.
kind of weird to think we're halfway through October already. I feel like time has been flying by. broke your glasses how I don't think I've ever broken a pair of glasses the only ones I got kind of close were sunglasses but that's because I stored them improperly and put something on it by taking them off what is your head too big is your brain too big God, I hate this wide brush. See, I fucked up that part too. You just snapped them. What the fuck, Mac? Are you that strong? Hmm. I hate this brush. So hard to manipulate, but I need coverage. I feel like I messed up a line on every single section. I mean, like these are sections is what I mean. I just need to get good. I'm stalling stalling by messing up guys just you wait till we actually have predictions but I'm gonna try hard I've been debating y'all this whole time thinking I'm slow 
but I'm actually wicked fast. Okay, we're a little over halfway done. There was a gnat in my peripheral, and it was so hard to not swat it away, but I did not let it distract me. I held strong. Smack it? No! It's gonna distract me. And then I'm gonna fuck up the painting. And then I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go home and cry dad. Okay, another one done. Touch up this line here. It's kinda crooked. go.
Not again. Not again. Dude, you can really see it. Holy. Dude, I, I'm getting tired. I think that's the problem. God damn. Uh, dude, that's so bad. That's generally so bad. You know, that's why I didn't put gold on these top bars. Because I knew I'd fuck up. Oh, dude, how am I gonna fix this? See, one simple wrong turn of your wrist... And everything's ruined. Everything. Maybe I should use silly tape next time. Just a bit of silly tape. I think that's the biggest mistake I've done all day. Okay, it's saved. Wait, almost. I need to touch it up a bit more. as good as it's gonna get. She needs to touch up this one too. too hard and you start getting like double vision that's kind of what I get when I try hard and focus I think that's why I keep on messing up now because it requires a, like a lot of brain power for me to like focus for extended periods of time I think I'm hitting that point but you know what? it's fine look you can't even tell I fucked up you can't even tell and if you can politely just don't say anything No more screw ups allowed. No more. If I mess up, I am stream. Maybe instead of needing that new camera, I need new glasses. Maybe that's what I need. 
It's about time for a new prescription, actually. Because I think I got these glasses two years in October. Yeah, so literally, it's time. But I can't afford new glasses right now. Like, I could buy them, but then I'd have nothing. And, like, also, Ray-Bans doesn't have these frames anymore, so I'd have to get different frames. And I don't want to do that. So I really like these frames. it close. If I have no more major fuck-ups, I think I can do it. Another one done. Maybe I could try working this way. Because I feel like doing the vertical... Like, vertical strokes like this is hard. So we only got two major sections left. Let's try to work this way now. It's a lot easier to work this way. It's a lot easier on my hands. Oh, 17 minutes? I can do this. Don't worry. Don't worry. <sighs> no need to fear. For... I am here. <laughs>
Would you ever play a Yoshi game on stream? Maybe. I just don't want it to be like a baby game. Because I feel like the Yoshi one where you like explore the world and find the things. It's like the Toad Adventure one to where it's like it's too baby. It's too easy. Like I don't like the puzzle-y type games. It makes me feel like it's for a child. That's why I like the platformer ones more so. Oh, 13 minutes! I can get this done in 10, easy.
Yeah, almost done. Well, that line isn't straight at all. This one is so crooked. There we go. Your final section. I got nine minutes. Nine minutes. Oh no. I have nine minutes to do this. This can be make or break. I can get it done in like five if I do it good. But if I mess up a line like I did here, GG's. Pills one, no error. On to the next two more. Guys, get ready to spam. I was here. Get your copy pastas ready. No, I said get ready. It's not it's not done yet. Okay, that's two no error last one I got I got seven minutes to do this one part right here from here to here seven minutes Whew, the final stretch Okay, main strokes are done, final touch-ups, and then this piece is complete. Okay, I think, I think it's done. I think it's done. 
let's stop our timer. Hands up. I think it's complete. Fuck yeah, I was here, I was here, yay, it's done. Oh, I got pain in my forearm. Okay, let's clean up our brushes, and then we- Oh! And then we can call it a day. Holy. My throat hurts. You missed some spots? No, I did not. You're capping. You're literally capping. I don't like trolls. No trolls here. Also, probably no raid. Nobody's live. Okay. Finish cleaning up the brushes and get some close ups. nobody live on a Friday. Kind of sus if you ask me. Are they out actually touching grass? Imagine. They're being sussy. <laughs> oh, okay. Who'd want to do that? I know, right? So let's not touch the wet parts. There we go. This piece looks very normy. Like, I feel like some middle-aged wife would make something like this. Like, very basic, but I kind of like it. Let's see if we can... Ooh! Look at that! Let's see if I can... Yeah, the light source isn't this way. Oh, there it is. Ooh, look at that. You can see the gold is kind of shiny. You know what it looks like? What? I was gonna say, it looks like illustrative hair. I was thinking like Greek art. Like how it's kind of blocky. What does it look like? What does this look like? Tell me, Ari. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I meant. You know what I mean? Like, it looks very, like, corporate. Like, like I said, very normy. It's like those hexagonal, like, dog statues that are gold painted. But I agree. I mean, this would look nice in an office, right? Like, maybe with, like, a gold... Like, I feel like... I feel like a lot of my work would look good if it had like the main and then two smaller canvases that are just like the main colors. Like if they we had like two smaller canvases that were just gold, I think that would look good as a set. Yeah, it's that's what I that's what I was thinking when I was painting this. Like when I added the gold, I was like, it looks like the like normie ass paintings. Hey Chad, so I think <laughs> I think we can call it a day here. Um, thank you to everybody who watched. Any chatters, lurkers, I appreciate you all. Um, well, it looks cool flat on the table. I know the angles are sort of, it looks cool. Okay. Um, before I go, let's shout out the main channel, because I feel like most of you guys are from the main channel, but if you're not following my main channel, it's peace and underscore 17. We do gamings, we do chattings. Go follow if you're watching. If you're watching, go. Nope, that's the wrong man! Exclamation main. Go follow the main channel for gaming and just chatting. If you like the art, go follow me. If you're new here and you aren't following, please follow. Um, you should follow if you're not following. You get to chat next time. But yeah. Um, I'll be live on this channel either Monday or Friday next week because I have an appointment Monday, but we'll see. But yeah, we're going to be live on the main channel, please, and underscore 17 with a subscriber-only Meg Esports Mario Party Superstars event. If you win, you give VIP. So be there Sunday. Okay? 
and I'm gonna end. I'm gonna go eat. So I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for hanging out again. I'll see y'all later for another painting. Maybe next week, Monday or Friday. Okay. Bye. Thank you for sure. I I agree. This this piece looks so corporate. It looks so fucking normy. But you know what? That's fine. You know we gotta have some basic ass shit sometimes. Because I was thinking about it, and I feel like a lot of obscure art doesn't get bought, but something like this, I think would be like a nice accent piece in someone's home, you know? So I feel like someone who doesn't know me would like this one. Is what I mean by that. Wait! Please go follow my offline socials for this account. It's peace and underscore art on most platforms. Please go follow it, please, please, please. Thank you for sure. Thank you for hanging out today, Cox. I think we had Cox and Max <laughs> or Mac here the whole time, so thank you. Also, thank you to everybody who came in, say hi, all that type of jazz. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Maybe tomorrow on the main. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, hope everybody has a good day. Bye.